part of the platform issues that might be perhaps even appealing to people who are younger, of the young generation, since they're not well represented here. Okay, Bob? My vision for the Democratic Party, what the vision should be for the party. Yes, right. My vision, you know, we work 32 hour weeks and we get paid more than we get now. And we have single payer nonprofit health insurance. And we don't get involved in wars unless they're actually about defending ourselves or defending you know, sort of helpless people's rights. Um, that we look out for the environment, we're less materialistic, uh, we're more honest in dealing with things. Uh, we, we certainly admit at the national level that we make mistakes sometimes skeptical of whatever the government has to say. Um, and I don't know the short steps. You know, the short steps are, are meeting people's needs, like health care, like a job, like an affordable education. Many countries offer free college education where they where they give you a zero percent loan, you don't pay it back until you make, you know, first paycheck of forty thousand a year, fifty thousand a year. Stuff like that, that that directly impacts families right now. Because a lot of these things don't. Um, and and uh, the basic economic issues, I mean, that's a lot of what Roosevelt dealt with. I mean, the complaints about Roosevelt it was he did nothing for women, he did nothing for African Americans. And, uh, there was no gay movement that was recognized by the government of, that, uh, of any sort, uh, certainly not at the national level. So those are important issues, but Roosevelt focused on the economic issues. Yes, bread and butter issues, of course, are always at the forefront, you know, uh, of any vision. I remember um, back in the day when Democrats, though, used to think bigger. I remember Hubert Humphrey, who I was mad about at the time because of the uh, Vietnam War, and uh, they get, you know, my man was Eugene McCarthy in that race, and uh, uh, Bobby, uh, Robert Kennedy got shot, and uh, they gave the nomination to Humphrey in kind of a smoke-filled room convention that kind of busted up the party. But, but Hubert Humphrey, uh, back then, had what they called the, the Humphrey-Hawkins bill, which actually only failed by a few votes, and it guaranteed a job to every American who couldn't find one in the private sector. You know, it was a, a very forward-looking, uh, visionary thing. John F. Kennedy was very visionary. John F. Kennedy, when he said we were going to the moon and we'll be there in 10 years, you should have heard the Republicans squawking, because he thought big. Well, you, you can't possibly set an agenda when we don't have the technology to do it. You can't do it. I'd like to see a Democrat get out there now and set a really hard goal on uh, electric cars or on getting away from uh, oil, a really hard goal, you know, uh, th that the technology doesn't even exist for yet. And then put the money behind it and let's see what the private sector can do. I come from Long Island. When John F. Kennedy started that moon thing, Long Island prospered. The post-war years on Long Island growing up there were great. Thank it's because the government had a vision. Well, yeah, the Humphrey Hawkins Full Employment Act was a great goal to have in mind, just like the idea of national health insurance back in the early part of the century. Um, those kinds of things have been put out there. People may realize, I might not see that in my life, but the old American dream was, your kids will have that, your grandkids will have that. And, and uh, it's something to work towards, even if it has to be done over 10 or 20 years. Okay. Um, Darlington. 